ETH we start with daily chart just I want to give a quick update and if we refer to our analysis in the bigger picture we mentioned we're looking at this one as a flat and I was highlighting that I'm looking for the reversal okay because uh, as a long term with the breakout of the all-time high we mentioned at least we can look for this when cap all right that's mean with the breakout of the 5.5 we, we, we have been looking for the 7k by the way right now and again, even if you refer to our analysis, we have been looking for the reversal. By the way, since the price was here, we maybe have been looking for buy. Anyway, we didn't have any update for this move because I mentioned my last analysis, I mean, the last few days. And again, we're looking for buy. Okay. And this move as a short move is really good. That's mean if you get any opportunity as a flag based on lower time frame or DP correction based on forward or daily chart. It can give us better, better confirmation that this is the start of the up move. Okay. That's mean if we get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. This is for what we're looking for. And we break out of the 3.2K following by 3.5, following by 3850. This is the levels I'm looking to see the breakout of. Mostly I want to see the breakout of this zone. That's mean we want to see the breakout after the price uh, tag 3.5K. Then we want to see the breakout of this zone. To confirm we are with an uptrend as i mentioned for me i'm looking for buy i'm looking for the reversal but i need to highlight that we have to look for the trade setup every time we say we're looking for buy we're looking for the re reversal it doesn't mean simply we can't take the trade okay this is the levels i'm looking for to see the breakout of based on daily chart i don't see any trade setup if i see any correction similar to what we get here at least following by this sharp move it can give us better confirmation for continuation. Based on daily chart, I don't see any trade setup. That's why the best thing is we look for trade based on lower time frame. Whether we can refer to the indicators based on daily chart, we cannot look for the divergence. But in the bigger picture, we should know that this is what we have been looking for. That's why we mentioned if the price couldn't reverse from here, even we can expect the price tag the lowest price of this correction. We don't need to wait for that. Any opportunity for buy from now, we will take it. And this is what we have been looking for. And we should know that even if the price is going to reverse, it cannot reverse the straight line. Maybe we can expect the price to consolidate here for a longer time before the price break or time high of 5.5k. That's why we should know how to manage it. And if I move to forward chart, this is one thing we need to highlight based on forward chart. Okay. First things, how are we going to look at this? We can consider this one as a three waves flat as a one, two, three. Because of what I can see here, we need to be quite careful. Because if the price continues as a corrective, the possibility for the next drop as a correction, at least similar to any of this, very high. Because if I put this top in relative to the previous one, if we refer to the indicators of one of them showing me the divergence, but MACD doesn't show me the divergence. That's mean I have two different information. Okay. That's why if anyone wants to look for buy from now, the best thing is. Either based on lower time frame, we see the sharp move flag, we take the trade, or we see the DP correction. All right. Simply at this point, we cannot look for trade because, as I mentioned, if this is the flat following by three waves, one of the indicators showing us a divergence, the other one is not. Okay. Either we get the reversal or DP correction. Mostly we can expect to see the DP correction, not the reversal. That's why if we want to look for buy, we have to wait for the trade setup. And we need, based on lower time frame, one hour chart and forward chart, we need to see the breakout of, and as a short term, if anyone get the trade for buy within this one, we can look for 3160 following the 3320. But based on forward chart, I don't see any trades at all. And if I move to one hour chart, all right, whether we can consider this one as a trade setup, I don't think so. If anyone wants to look for buy, we have to see the sharp move flag, then we can take the trade. What I can see here, I don't see any trade setup because if you put this stop in relative to the previous one, and if you refer to the indicators, we see losing the momentum. That's why simply we cannot look for trade. And the best thing is if we see the DP correction for the next trade, or we look for the sharp move flag, we take the trade. Whoever get the trade for buy within this one, maybe we want, we want to see whether the price can break this zone or not. Because if I move to forward chart, forward chart, Mostly we want to see the breakout of the previous top, which is somewhere around the three, four, two, five. But at this point, we can look for the breakout of this zone. That's mean three, three, two, zero. Okay. But the continuation should be as a sharp move, not the corrective move. 
this is what we have to look at this point. It doesn't mean the price cannot continue, but the only question is how to look for trade. And for those traders, they get the trade for buy either from here or from here, at least move their stop loss to break even. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.